Hi, I'm Chris. Today I'm going to tell you how to use 2D and 3D view in the Huawei software. Hello, this is the first movie on Huawei's software, which is a brand uh, for laser beam uh, characterization. This software is used with uh, laser beam profilers and also with uh, various uh, custom uh, sensors integrated with the laser systems. Uh, in the first movie, I would like to tell you a few words on uh, two main uh, parts of the window, um, 2D view and 3D view. Um, these two uh, views, uh, two uh, parts of the window, they present the beam uh, intensity distribution and the left part of it, 2D view, uh, it essentially shows you section uh, across the beam. So it creates uh, essentially a map of the intensity distribution. Normally the measurement is done using the black and white uh, sensor array, uh, but here we are using uh, color mapping to make uh, some features looking uh, better or to allow the user um, noticing it uh, in easier way. Uh, this map is uh, shown um, between 2D and 3D and for example if you see some pink color uh, most prob probably the intensity is of about 128 arbitrary units. Uh, in the 2D view you can see also uh, X and Y coordinate uh, system. This is traditional Cartesian uh, system. Uh, the origin uh, is following the center of the beam. Uh, the center of the beam is uh, identified automatically by the software um, and uh, the coordinate system uh, just aligns with the uh, center of the beam. Um, the X and Y uh, axis, they define the planes where we do section of the beam and the measurement point or real data from these sections are shown in the bottom and on the left hand side of the 2D view as white spots and these spots are then interpolated with a analytical uh, function. In this case we are using Gauss distribution so the function is Gaussian. Uh, if you want you may change it here uh, to Lorentz if you are expecting that your beam is Lorentz shaped. Um, you can freeze the measurement at any time and you can resume it at any time. Also you can do measurement of elliptical beam by clicking this button. Um, while clicking, while switching on the elliptical beam, you will notice that the color of the coordinate system has changed. This is intentional to kind of uh, draw attention that uh, now we are measuring, measuring um, uh, a different kind of beam and you can freeze it also at any time. Um, the angle of the coordinate system is also calculated uh, automatically. Um, the angle between the coordinate system and the horizontal plane, I mean. Uh, but if for some reason you would like to change this angle, here there is a small circle close to X letter. You can click on the circle and you can rotate by moving your mouse. Um, we'll switch it back to a regular beam and I will resume the measurement uh, because I would like to tell you one last uh, detail in this uh, 2D view. Uh, this is related to these uh, uh, top and bottom dashed lines. These lines and left and right edge 
they define the area of the detector. So the image uh, above and below these lines are kind of artificial and they do, do not present the real area corresponding to some portion of the detector. Um, let me switch to the 3D view. Uh, on the 3D view you can see essentially the same beam but uh, you can play uh, by left clicking and uh, moving your mouse to see the, the beam from different perspective uh, and also you can uh, zoom in or out by using scroll on your, on your mouse. Thank you very much for this uh, first movie. I would like to invite you to check out the following ones. Thank you.